So anyways, guys, I'm gonna touch this the other video. I recorded something for you, then weird, something weird popped out on the screen. Anything to do to cut it off and distract me, and, you know? You guys know how it works. Distractions everywhere. My email inbox, the messages I get on my phone from companies. Let's say my internet is due on the 11th. <coughs> I got a call today. I'm with Tech Savvy here in Toronto. I got a call today. And they said, oh, it's due. And if I don't pay it, my account will be canceled. Then it's on the 11th. It's not even close. But that's how they threaten you. That's how they keep you worried. Stressed out. Irritated. Always. It's just like this. Uh, for example. You get a. a uh, there we go. Yes, I know I'm microchipped. I know I'm on a leash. I know that I'm microchipped. Thank you for letting me know that. With every single neighbor that pops out, I see about a hundred times a day dogs on leashes. Thank you for being an idiot and exposing yourself, microchipping people and putting them on leashes. That's the only way you could feel safe in this world. Not let out real men like me out there that are intelligent and tough because you're an incompetent idiot. That's why you create the system. Anyways, guys. Let's keep the hatred and stupidity out of our hearts because that leave that to the enemy to fill himself with this stuff. Not our enemy, but with the idiot that's done this to us. We have no enemies. We're too intelligent, too strong to have enemies. They tried to make of us an enemy, but they didn't succeed. At least not with this subject. So... I'm going to discuss to you today something very important. Discuss with you, not discuss to you. Excuse my uh, anglais. Um, so, what is GPS and how does it function? Global Positioning System. Nice name, nice, got a nice round to it. Global worldwide and it's through a a weird looking shiny machine that they put out there into space space really far away how do they get it up there oh yeah that's right those guys from nasa with the these weird looking ships these weird looking planes that you know they're like big and white they call them spaceships what a fucking crock of shit they are pulling on the planet, man. They make people think of something so small, so big and scary and, and technological and advanced. Oh my God, they know so much more than us. They don't know motherfucking jack shit. It's called mind control. Now, GPS, how does it work? <clears throat> First of all, those spaceships you see with the NASA experts in there that they have to study 10,000 years to become one those guys are amazing i call them scam artists do you know what these guys do that that spaceship does exist doesn't look like that on the inside those they filmed them in a big look guys the states always the united states of america not just there russia you know now china <clears throat> all the big nations that do brag about space these guys have Hollywoods, what I call Hollywoods, the real Hollywoods, not the one that's in the States where they make movies. And what this is, is they put those astronauts in a water tank. They've made a couple of mistakes on some videos. You can see water bubbles. So they look like they're floating in the air. They're in space working on something. There's no such thing, guys. First of all, we don't live on a spinning ball all stuck like this because there's gravity and spinning in the air and there's 10,000 planets. Something with the people that run the planet today they have a fascination of making us feel that we're not special because that's how you lower the value of someone that's how you make them think less of themselves that's the reason why i created all these other fucking planets that don't even exist this is a plain field guys and after antarctica the ice there's more it's just hard to cross because there's probably a continent of wind and everything I spoke in my other videos about how there's some proof on those things. Number one. Number two, those nice space shuttles you see, those fly, 
they land somewhere in Antarctica, not Antarctica, the Amazon. They have certain stations where they go camp there for about a week or two, eat hot dogs, drink beer. Maybe they take hookers with them to get their dick sucked. Excuse my uh, Espanol. So, the time that they're there, they will show you footage of things that they've done earlier inside the station in a water tank. When they're done, they come back. So this thing does take off and it does come back, but it never goes to space. It goes to another location, a remote, kind of quiet location somewhere where no human beings can enter. They have some in Siberia. They have some in a lot of other places. Now, there are satellites up there. Do you know how they get them up there? Helium balloons. Do you know why? Guys, there's no such thing as atmosphere and stratosphere. It's all bullshit. There's no such thing as other planets. We live on a disk. The sun and the moon, they turn on top of the disk like this. That's how you get seasons. That's how you get night and day. All right, it's a flat disk. It's not perfectly flat and a perfect disk, but it's something along those lines. It's not a spinning ball in the air, as much dumbasses believe. Anyways, the reason why, there are reasons why they did those things to us. First, to make us believe that we're locked, there's no other place to go to. Um, a lot of other reasons too, it's a scam. Anyways, the helium balloons up there, they do have those technological things in them that look like crosses, some of them or whatever, that take photos. They do have that technology. So these things take photos. That's all they could do. You know, they tell you it's live from the space. Both fucking shit. They can't do it live because they can't have video that far. They take photos. They can transmit the photos to you about two, three hours later. That's all they could do. That's it. I don't know the exact span, but I know it's a couple of hours. So, <clears throat> I brought you to a nice area so you can hear the noise implementation. Now, those things take photos. Do you know why there's online and offline GPS programs? Because they don't have it everywhere in all the countries worldwide. Well, if it's up there global, how come they don't? Because it ain't. It's big posts that are GPS, that they have to land on the ground. And they barely cover 20% of the earth, just big cities, most developed cities where cities are developed. That's it. You go a little bit far away, no GPS, guys. No such thing. Wi-Fi, maybe it's easier. They do have Wi-Fi, obviously, but not GPS. So... It's those towers that give it to us. Proof? Go to Uber. Go to your Uber app. And type in faraway places from the cities. In some countries they do have them. But not everywhere. You're going to realize that there's no Uber there. Because that's how Uber functions. Without the GPS, Uber wouldn't exist. Check it out. So the whole GPS thing that it's global, it's a satellite, it's bullcrap. Go to the Uber app. Type in faraway places, but don't type in from a major city to those places. Because because it exists in major cities and they have offline Uber, when they go out of the GPS zone, they will take you there. Type in from those faraway cities to those faraway cities. Same city. You'll see that it's unavailable. In tons of places in Canada, even in the States, in Russia, China, you name it. Because it's not up there, guys. And that's the proof. Check out Uber and see if I'm lying. It's posts. They have to put them everywhere. What we have up there is a technological machine that went up with a helium balloon. In time, they explode and they fall. They crash. Don't you see in the Truman Show how one time, how we figured out when he started to wake up, how a big light fell on the ground and went, Psh! that's what that means. In real life, it's satellite. They've caught them in Brazil. They've caught them in a lot of other countries. People tripped out. This thing falls from the sky, this big, metally shiny thing. That's how they get them up there. Helium balloons, guys. Okay, there's no such thing as space, stratosphere, and other planets. This is all Photoshop. 
listen to the noises while I'm talking to you how angry they're gonna be I'm giving you this vital information all right I had someone on my pl uh, channel before you hear the plane you hear a little bit of birds look at the wind it's gonna get windier and windier because there's no movement here look okay somebody on my channel told me before you're the king of Toronto you're like the Alex Jones of Toronto first of all I ain't the king of Toronto I'm the slave of Toronto when there's a microchip on my eye and everybody in my surroundings is mopping the floor with me but he had a point the difference between me and Alex Jones, I am the honest, truthful Alex Jones. Not that Alex Jones is a liar. He gave you good information. But the information he gave you does not help you at these times. This information, he should have given it to you 30 years ago. But the information I'm giving you today will help you today. That's the difference between me and him. I'm not comparing myself to him or saying I'm better than him or worse. I don't even want to be like him. Nothing to do with him or be a YouTube thing. None of that shit. I want the microchips out of my eyes and I want to live a decent life, be left alone. That's all I want. Now, listen to my surroundings, the birds, teach it a little bit. They're afraid to make one noise. I've never experienced this in 25, 23 years, emptiness and no noise. But they're still playing with the wind. Now the wind goes away, look. Tuck, 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 tuck. They're doing it lightly here and there, just a tiny bit. So GPS, guys, it still doesn't exist in a lot of places. So for a guy like me, I can right now jump in a car, drive away, taxi two, three hours. I'll be free. There's no GPS there. What they could do is they have them in trucks that can follow you. But that's that doesn't work. That's limited. You'll beat it. And other remote small towns. There's about a zillion of them here in Ontario. I can go to one tonight. They don't have anything fixed there. They need God knows how many months to set up one. And what are they going to do with the people in that small town? Kick them out? Pay them 10 million each not to ever go back to their homes? <clears throat> Anyways. But I'm not that kind of guy. I want to beat their asses here. This is the kind of guy I am. Where it's the hardest to show them. When you want to brainwash people, make sure you can keep them brainwashed. Or don't meddle with things that are not, that you're not big enough to meddle in with. You're not God. Right? When you try to play God, make sure you can play a real God, like the real God. Don't be a smart ass and grab orphans and give them to your Freemasonic family so they can abuse the shit out of him. Then when he gets to a certain age, he wakes up and realizes everything. What does that tell you about you? You're a fucking failure. Your experiment is a charade. It's stupid. It doesn't work. People wake up. That's the message that I wanted to give. So GPS, guys, works. They have to set it up, those big, huge towers you see in places 80 percent of the earth does not have gps on it proof go to uber the only reason why uber doesn't exist in those areas is only one trust me they would love to exist there they don't have the gps set up yet because it's expensive it takes a long time to set up noise Noise, noise. How the fuck would the plane know where I am to come and make noise for me? Another one. You guys seen planes in my videos and all my videos. I've had about 60 planes go over me once in less than five minutes. Anyways, watch my other videos for new viewers that have never been to my channel or watching this weird video. If I can get them because they have my YouTube channel cocooned. Look where a car comes in to what area. Now they get the real people out of here. This is close to my area, so this is stable. There's not that many people that live here. A bunch of their charade people. So they got a car to come in. This guy was far away. He's around here. They got him to come. 
you know, in order to get me out of here. But you just sit and wait. How many of them are going to come? There's like 10, 20 houses. I'm still on public property. He can't tell me to go away. I'm not on his property. I'm not breaking the law. <clears throat> or even filming him or his house. I'm just talking and filming everywhere. I'll turn it to my face, you know. Anyways, this is GPS, guys. That's how it functions. And why is this topic important for me? Because I'm microchipped. And the only way they can track you, because it's GPS. They know where you are. Otherwise, they can't go to get those people to come and hassle you. They can't get this guy to come here to create noise and movement for me at the time I come in. They won't know where I am. But they know where I am. That's one of their contacts. And he's got a receiving microchip, just like I have mine, for it to transmit to him so he can move. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Now, people that are hearing this for the first time, please check out the history of my videos to see what this is about. I have proof of everything that I'm saying. So, they have to be able to locate you. I don't know how it appears to them over there, like a sonar dot or something, I don't know, but it's very precise. Like, when I go to the bathroom from the living room in my apartment, which is less than, I don't know, 20 feet, not even, they know. They send the lady downstairs to turn on the water the faucet on and off so I can hear noise in the bathroom when I'm in the bathroom. I never spend more than 10 minutes in the bathroom without hearing that. It's impossible. So, now they've cut down on that a lot because of the 311 complaints about noise, but it's not enough. They have their own people in there. They had the officer close the case, check out my YouTube videos without even contacting me. Now I'm going to speak to her on Tuesday. So, um, that's how this works so they have to set up the area ahead of time for it to carry on that thing they have to chip everybody there because everyone that surrounds me has to be chipped they have to have a receiver for my transmitter otherwise they won't know when i'm looking at them they know when i'm looking at them even if they're facing that way their face is facing the other way how do they know that's how they know i don't know i think one of them told me one time that they feel some kind of vibration i, I don't know whether it's true or not I really am. I was never a receiver. I'm always a giver. Don't try to explain that in many different ways. You know, it's only it only has one meaning. At least that's what I meant. So, see how the noises are coming. The duck. The, no, they're not repeated much, so they, look at them and look how good they got. People cross right away because they're waiting. As soon as I look that way from that microchip in my eye, they feel something that I'm looking at space, then they cross. They told me that's how they do it. Now you're going to see wind implementation. To see movement, how else can I look at movement? Because when you do the wind with the trees and the grass, you still see movement. I'm not supposed to sit in a place and see things subtle for long. Noise. I don't know if you can hear that car. Man, I've never had it that quiet for me or subtle in my entire life. This is, this is euphoric. Look, 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 look what we're getting in order for them not to make noise. Look. <laughs> what else can I prove to you? I mean, what's what's more to prove? I'm running away from people and noise. I come to a small crescent with like 10 houses. I get a guy with a car to come in. People, go look at the cotton pieces that I tell you about. What are these things? These are the things that come out when it gets windy for them to create objects moving and movement for me, whatever they are, and insects. And we get some weird like this. So... They do this because if I see things moving, they don't have to annoy me much with the noise. I have to be annoyed every day. Uh, there's a certain level, whatever dose they want to give me. And it has to be constant. I can't be left alone for one hour or two without anything moving and without any noise at all. It's impossible. This is the biggest one. I'm going to prove it to you how. Even in my own apartment, there's always something. I don't know what they do. They give electrical boost to the refrigerator. It makes a weird sound. Or I have a pot, a water pot. For some reason, it's off and everything. But once in a while, I still hear something from it. It goes, tick. 
so it's that's giving the electricity and energy uh, a power up for these machines to make those noises just like that I'm not using them I'm sitting on the couch or sleeping so they have to do that <clears throat> they will not leave me for an hour or two straight without noise or movement and that's how I'm gonna prove it to you soon I'm gonna go sit in a place I'm gonna open my mouth I'm gonna put the phone gonna get it to record two hours straight I gotta fix the settings for it because it's only doing 33 minutes now look look So now nothing's moving. Look, look, look at the squirrel. They tell you the animals, they do it too. You see, it just went under the car over there. You believe me now? What is that, a squirrel? Yeah, look. Look, it's right behind the fire hydrant now. You see? What did I tell you? So my microchip attracts that through the magne electromagnetic field. I don't know how they do this. But these fuckers always appear when there's no people to base in front of me. Always. Or birds. So it's a computer program attached with me and everything around me in order to keep this in noise. Because if you do that to someone, you keep them under a stress level. They can't function. They can't think. There's always this and noise being done to them. Even when they come to a dead place like this to hide from noise and movement. I mean, <clears throat> this is a dead end. There's about, what, 20 houses here? Not even. There are about 15? Not even. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Counting those two. This one and that one. Bird, chick, airplane. Chick, chick, chick. I don't know what he's doing. It's coming from there. Bird. Look at how the wind comes and goes. Only when it's necessary it comes. When there's a lot of noise or people walking, you'll see it's not windy. To prove to you how all this is attached to the microchip. Look, these things again. That means there's wind, otherwise they won't fly to create movement for me. Look how close it passed by me, right in front of me. Guys, I will show you a million videos like this one, not just once. So you don't think it's a coincidence, this guy's nuts. Every day I could show you a video like this one with different things like that. I come and hide from people's noise. I still, and not just people, things moving and noise, and it still follows me. It looks getting more windy now. So I'm running away from movement. How could you make the tree move? The wind. I know it sounds ludicrous. It's still, even for me, it's hard to believe how they're capable of doing this through technology. But it's mind-boggling, guys. I don't know how to do this. Like, I couldn't possibly think of a way to do this. How can I attract wind through my microchip to come this way? I really don't know what's in that fucking thing, what the program does. I have no clue. But I know that piece is in my eye, both of them. It's very small. It's nano. It's like five millimeters, whatever the hell that is. It's not millimeters. It's like a thousand, ten thousand millimeter, less than millimeter. I don't know. So the wind brings in those white cottony pieces, so I still see movement of bird. Guys, birds don't fly here at this time, another plane. No. Now it disappeared. I have never had anything like this in bird. I can handle this. This is heaven for me. I have never experienced this in 23 years. This piece. I'm not kidding. Look at my face. I'm 43, for God's sakes. I look like I'm 60 from all the stress that they put me through. Noise? Notice the bird is not tweeting now. But they're flying. Now they'll tweet when this is gone. They flew here, now they're gonna tweet as soon as the plane noise is gone. Listen, how it's correlated. 
No, they're changing the program on me, but I'm still getting them. Guys, planes have no reason to pass by this area. I'm far from the airport, and if they fly this way, they should be at a higher altitude. At least from this direction, from the runway to this direction where we are right now, it should be at a higher altitude. It shouldn't make that kind of noise. Now you're going to hear the birds tweet soon. I bet my own life on it. Eventually. See how it's correlated? As soon as the plane noise went. I hope you heard that. That's what happens when you're an elite and you want to play God. You pick the kind of people out there that if they're let free and loose in society, they could beat you. They have the, the talents to do that. So what do you do to them? You entrap them in a freaking hexagon and you microchip them in the eye. So they're controlled by you. Every time they leave the house, you bring in all these people to drive them nuts. And this allowed them from meeting real human beings by flipping the people there at the stores and hospitals. So they're not there for just doing a normal thing. It's a freaking ritual. They're all moving and pacing and making noise around you, so you leave that place drained and in trance, defocused and pissed off, and all your chakras get attacked by them stressing you out, naked women bending over you everywhere you turn, showing you their boobs, their butts. I don't want to see that crap when I go to the hospital. I'm not going to San Fernando Valley. I'm going to get treated at the hospital. If I want to see that stuff, I'll go somewhere else. But that needs to exist there, that element, because they're attacking your, that's your sexual chakra, and they're attacking the other ones too. So it's a setting, it's a ritual when I walk into the places. It's not normal. When I go to the store to buy a chocolate bar or go to the hospital to get treated, I'm walking into the same setting. They're applying tactics on me by pacing, coughing, annoying me at the door. I come in, they come out, I come out, they come in. They're annoying you. They're training you of your energy so you can't think, you can't focus. Listen. But overall, guys, this is a, a, a treat for me. What, they got owls too? <laughs> Never heard these sounds in this area before. Maybe because I'm too wrapped up listening to too much noise. Look, so now they're washing something over there. Listen. It's the train. Where's this water coming from? You hear that? This means someone inside the house is opening the water. Is, is that enough to make this noise? You see how they can create noises to where I am? So the whole system needs to be set up. Maybe that's the reason this guy came home. To open it up and for the water to come out. But there's no way he can put out that much water. Listen. See, how long have I been recording here? Have I had five minutes without one piece of noise or movement? One minute, uh, five minutes, no, not five, three minutes. Why not? It's not rush hour, it's not a busy time, it's not very close to a major street. And I've had two people come, one in and out, and one that parked and went in. In a place where there's 11 houses. <sighs> <clears throat> look what they put outside the house to show you that they come into those houses and prep them you know all about kids and toys and colors that they put for me everywhere I go and bicycles and how they prep the setting now they're putting it on the inside not the outside because it's too obvious <clears throat> but this 
to see a street like this clean, no garbage on the floor, no objects outside, no carts, no... Guys, I haven't seen this in 23 years. With this piece, I'm almost in a cloud number nine now. No, but they, what did they do? Look what they did to the fire hydrant. They, stri they put a frigging orange bag on it. Or whatever that post there. Guys, that were, look, look, look. Now they come out. See the water. That's where the water is coming from. So now you know that the people that live in those homes are them, the irritators. Because I'm looking at her. She's moving now. See her head up and down and moving because I'm looking at her. Now she's going to walk. So that means these are the subjects. They come and fill up the whole area. They get the people out of the houses. Now, this is what they do when I go to different areas. I know it sounds ludicrous. It's a huge project, guys. They empty the buildings, everything. Because all these years, if I had one contact with a real person, they couldn't have done it. I would have figured it out right away. They can't get one into that environment. So it's a huge project. And they get to, right, right here, it's close to my area. I don't think they've had them ever here. The whole area has been rented out to be the Truman Show area. The real life Truman Show area. But now a car is going to come because I'm coming this way. So it was ready being, the, or put the lights on to annoy me. Look how nasty they are. I don't know if you see the bright lights yet. So guys, this guy, how did he get there so fast? As soon as I came out, there was a car ready to come into my face. But you could see that they stop and wait. But they know my location. As soon as I come out, they get me. I cannot have a couple of minutes in peace without hearing noises and people. That's what this program's about. To keep someone destroyed. And then obviously, if you're in this situation, even if you've had a decent girlfriend or someone, you know, want to share your life with to begin with, how could you last together with this attack? It would be on both, you'd split. So the idea of doing this to someone is attacking your, more than anything, it's genealogy and it's excluding you from society because you can wake people up. You have the talents and skills about what's being done to us worldwide. So they do it to you on a very strong, intense scale. So you can't breathe. They grip you. They put you in the hexagon. That's what it means. That's, that's, that's the new kind of slavery, using technology. Never heard the term somebody put a hex on you? What do you think they got that from? The hexagon. There's no such thing as magic spells or anything like that, guys. There's only one, two things in this world, two kinds of people. Ones that want to be left alone because they have what it takes. And the other kind that don't have anything in them, talent or looks or nothing, that don't want to leave the other alone because they want to have value. The only way they can achieve it in society is by stepping on the other one and hexagoning them with a microchip in their fucking eye without their consent. Police siren, you hear it? Bird, airplane. They give me a combo now. And Chica. That came already. And Tatak, Tatak, what is he doing, this guy? 